Live from Bedford Stuyvesant, the livest one, representing BK to the fullest, the notorious B.I.G. The only Christopher we acknowledge is Wallace. Raw deal. In 1972, he was introduced to the world, Christopher Wallace, better yet, to Brooklyn, Brooklyn's finest. As a youth coming up, life in the hood wouldn't be so good. Christopher didn't have a wicked jump shot, so he was forced to sell crack rock. The clouds started to part. The sun started to shine. And in steps who? World renowned tycoon. Record breaking and record making. Puff Daddy. Fast forward to 1994. Platinum, gold, Grammy, show. Until one day. Me and Puff was going everywhere in Cali, you know what I'm saying? I thought that the kid had like a death wish. Hear what really happened from someone that was really there. Former head of security for Bad Boy Entertainment, Gene Deal. Nigga Puff came out and he grabbed my arm. Yo, Gene, Gene, we gotta pray, we gotta pray. I say, pray for what? That nigga's dead. And walked out the hospital door. Raw Deal, The Last Big Night, coming soon. Hey, this is Gene Deal from Raw Deal, The Last Big Night. The first three installments, one, two, and three. Um, installment one has already reached a half a million views. Thank you for your support. As of every year for the last 21 years, 20 years and better, uh, We've reached this plateau again, where uh, some celebrating the life and the death of the notorious B.I.G. But for me, as usual, it comes to that that unexplainable feeling that you get in in, in your whole, in your heart, in your body when you felt that something that you was placed there to do, to make happen, to stop from happening, or it's just an experience that it, it, it's overwhelming in your heart that you have and a feeling where, you know, you have, you feel that you let the world down when, uh, you feel like that you didn't save uh, somebody who was just so great. I could tell you stories about Big and certain performance and things that I witnessed around him that have you crying, collecting money, that have you laughing, uh, that have you just like, damn, I never heard that shit before, type of things. Uh, the night in which he died, you know, I, I spoke and I told people that, you know, hours before he was murdered, I had a conversation with Sean Puffy Combs, Brother Love, Diddy, whoever this fucker is calling himself that could have saved his life. I had a conversation with Big Lil C's while Tone and D-Rock stood by that had they took it serious, it probably saved his life that day. But the thing about it is, it don't save me from not just doing what I had to do or doing what I knew to do that night. You know, um, you don't understand. Uh, people won't understand the feelings that I have. Um, I was there on the behalf of Puff, you know. I was Puff dude, I was the one to make sure that he was safe. But 
if I could say big, if I could have turned it around, you know, I would have. I was. I. It's just. It's just crazy to hear this cat's music, to to still hear the impact that he have on his fans, and know that I was one of the guys who pulled him out the car when he was murdered, and to know that I could have saved his life that night and was prevented. Uh, I'll never give over that feeling, but I will let all the people who have those feelings of remorsefulness for missing him have all the good feelings from hearing his music, all those good feelings that they know he was the greatest who did it. To let them know that I won't rest until this cat tell the truth. We want you to go out and get you a glass cover from Shara. Cover your glass, because at the end of the night, you might be covering your ass. These glass covers help you to know your glass when you have to walk away from the bar, maybe go to the restroom, or you even turn in your head. Or you could keep it on there all night long so nobody would ever get your drink confused or nobody would ever put anything in your drink and make you not have to cover your ass. Anyway, look out for the uh, Cover Your Glass promo. It's by Shara in St. Louis. You see this information? Order yours. Thank you. With your story, like that's really what happened. Women from for these fellas, fellas from for these women. It's a trait that's passed down from old heads right now to their children. Homie, don't be surprised, like you not living the lie. When them shells come from you die, cause you be stunting and why? Look at me right in the eye, knowing you telling a lie. You go to hell and you fry, you won't be seeing your God. Pretty and yellow homeless, they ride 22s. I see these cats off in the club.